and first thought. Submit spirit for matter. I suggest you to humanity. Arise. Awake, awake in the dream. And then and set set the set of our reality. reality. So we so live. live. We love. We love. Face face and some familiar, some a cosmic composition. In the irrelevance of this time, we realize the past of the brain and Learning the lessons that the brother brother of man far more important than the ego in the individual. Imagination, Imagination becomes, becomes the sound, sound of thought, thought, thought traveling, traveling at the speed of fire. So we so paint it on the canvas of our ephemeral encounters with God. A masterpiece of memory that lives in the eternity of a child. Hey, what's up, Skeeter? No, I got it. How you doing? I started to tell you to bring the dancing girls with you. <laughs> that's that's the Titty Green. Titty Green would say, if you're bringing the dancing girls, let's take it yeah. off out here. Huh? Oh, Nick. She was here, man. But you knew. I just got finished doing the doing the set with him. Uh, last last couple of weeks, yeah. That's my keyboard player, man. He, he's the only keyboard player that I want to hit with. No one else. Yeah, the people, yeah, they, uh, uh, that again, Ken? Well, they made sure, sure they called me, you know. Huh? They made sure they called me, man. And that's all they know. Then there's the ventriloquist himself, the one who puts the words in the dummy's mouth. Now, he gets his instructions, let's say.
how does that differ as far as what you say with Japan? How do they get it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
movies? What, what kind of, as far as dealing with this world, what, what would you have, you know, what would you say? Yeah, this is ancient technology. I mean, this the, all this stuff we got is ancient technology. It's not. It's not up to date. This is stuff we had thousands of years ago. You know, they just put putting it out piece by piece so they can make money off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I, what I was gonna ask you? Uh, yeah. Tell me uh, the importance. Of learning interscalar and intrascalar polyrhythmic melodies. The importance? Yeah, I mean like the importance of basically learning the scales as it relates to intrascalar and interscalar polyrhythmic melodies. And monorhythmic melodies. Well... Uh, Learning the scales, how important. The scales is, is uh, learning your scales is uh, is, is the European method. I think. It's okay. A, just the, the way uh, like in Europe, the piano, based like the the notes on the piano, the twelve uh, notes, and then they broke it into you know seven note scales, and you know because there's notes in between the notes. Uh, right. Japan is not the same other country, but that's why I'm just saying European is the the, the scales you learn all your scales, uh, your twelve uh, major scales. Say, okay. Then you you got an idea of, of, of what, what you're you working with. What okay. you're working with. Okay. You know? what How you, does that differ as far as what you said with Japan? How do they? Japan they play notes just like other countries. They they got notes in between. Uh, be, uh, notes in between B and C on the piano. You know, there, there's no note. There, there, there's two white keys on the right. piano, and like from B to C, there's nothing in between. And from E and F, there's nothing in between. But there are notes that's in between. So Those they notes. take more of a spiritual approach to it. No, it's just it's just other notes in between the notes. Each note. You know, like if you, you, you know, uh, there's more notes to okay. be played. You know, okay. like uh, 
augmented notes and, 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 and diminished notes, or, or, you know, that between each note, see, it's just uh, based off, that's why the keyboard's locked. I can play the keyboards, but I know I'm locked in. Yeah. You know, I'm really locked in because I can't play anything in between. The <clears throat> and, and then also, as a keyboard player, every all the other instruments have to tune in to the keyboard or, or to sound off. They say, oh, you out of tune. You, you out of tune to who? You know? If I pick up a saxophone, who am I out of tune to? The keyboard player? Yeah. Because if I tune to a bass player, tune to another horn player, we in tune. Right. But the keyboard player can't tune to nobody right. unless it's fixed. they got the equipment fixed. So, yeah. so you you know they they uh, I tell keyboard players y'all like to control people because y'all fix. See, I'm free. See, I I, I can play notes that y'all can't play. I slur it. Yeah. Keyboard player, unless they got a machine yeah. to make them. Or you can glide across the keys glide, and do right. it. Like a voice. Just, just stride and, and like Monk used to play. Yeah, like you our know. voice. See, our voice, a human voice is more like a saxophone. Yeah, or something to me. yeah. The human voice is what I'm describing. There's no simple, you know, when you slur it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You go way yeah. up high yeah. and low. Yeah. Uh, it's notes, you can hear those notes. Yeah, that's the very first them. instrument, the voice. Yeah. Them screens and hop, the keyboard can't really do that. No. Nah. It's too easy. They, 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 they have some electronic uh, equipment now uh, that's like keyboards that that are, that, oh, that bend notes, but you still don't get quite what you get with a voice and or a saxophone or alive. acoustic instrument. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's electronic. It, yeah. It's I'll cyber, you know, it's... Yeah. Uh, I'm a live person. I yeah. like to play live instruments. Yeah. I love acoustic guitars. I love the acoustic drums, the acoustic oboe. I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily like the electrical stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's, not, it's not alive. It don't sound alive to me. It don't have a... It's digital. Yeah, it's digital. See? Yeah. Now, when you put that digital, now you done made me digital, but I'm, I want to be alive when I play then the rhythms is um I, I say man that comes from like Africa. That's that's a different kind of rhythms other than four four beat march beat. You know, people like uh Dave Gubeck, they you know it take they play a uh, five four, but they've been playing five four, you know, in Africa, five four, seven four, eleven four. You know, all kind of different uh, rhythms. Yeah, polyrhythmic. Polyrhythmic, yeah. that's where it comes from. So, so when I combine the, uh, the African rhythms to, to the, uh, the European, I'm just saying how, how right. I believe it is. Right. That ain't, everybody else got their own opinion. But right. When you put them together, you got like uh, Mozart, you know, Beethoven, and Strauss and all them. They play in the way they put the music on sheet uh, paper that you know that's fixed. You know, they got it more. Uh, yeah, within certain parameters. Parameters, you right. know. But, but uh, no, the rhythms and the sounds of, of like the African piano, the, 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 the sounds that's in between. Balaphone. Yeah, Balaphone. Yeah, which yeah. Is, you know, which is different. You got some that's made out of wood, but it's made look look like a piano. Yeah, you know, or so it's tuned, yeah. xylophones yeah. tuned to that that pitch that, that certain pitch that right. get. Right. See, people say dealing oh, with the strings and stuff like that. That's on it. You tighten it to put yeah. different uh, 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 tension tension on the on the on the wood in mm. order to tone the tone the wood to a certain Frequency. Yeah. I love uh, string instruments more than I love p uh, piano instruments. Even though piano is a string yeah, instrument. it's a string instrument, but it's a string and a percussive. Percuss it's a percussive string instrument. But at the same time, it's, it's it's locked in. Right, right. The tones is like when you hear the C, you got this machine, and some people got perfect pitch. Oh, that's a C. Yeah. Perfect pitch to who? Unless you get on the strings like some artists uh, get up and dig in it like a grand piano, get up there and dig on the keys, I mean on, on the strings and start strumming the strings, that's when you can do different things. 
with the with the piano, but if you just go on pure technical as far as the keys, everything is fixed with that. Yeah, everything fixed. It, you can't go nowhere with it. Man. And I, I tell them keep. That's why when I start playing, they be telling me to stop playing. But I sit in with people. I be wanting to tell the keyboard player, no, you stop playing. Right, right. You don't want to need to stop. Playing. See, I'm not wrong. All right. You right. can't, you can't follow me. Right. See, I'm taking it another. I hear it in right. another way that you ain't, you, you can't hear it. Right. Because you account, you stuck. Right. I'm not stuck. Right. And if you listen, you'll hear. I'm with, I'm with the song, but I'm right. taking it another place. Right. Right. And that, you know, I'm a saxophone player, but I do play keyboards. Yeah. I played that when I was five years old. Yeah. I know what they be doing. I tell them. I tell the keyboard player quickly, lay out. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the bass player, they can, they can tune, you know, and say, oh, I see where you at. Yeah. A bass player, the, key, the guitar player, you know, that's, no, I would rather have a bass player. Yeah. Upright, preferred. It don't matter. It could be upright or fret or whatever. Oh, okay. But the, before I even have a bass player, I would rather have a drummer. Yeah. See, because I'm really, now I'm really able to do what I can yeah. do. I, you know, that's I, the root right there. Yeah, that's the root. Yeah. The, the beat. And, and if I'm, if I'm, you know, got a tune to the strings, the bass player, you know, now I mean, we, we got a tune to go. Yeah. You know, I learned that with my bass players. They taught me, they said, give me an A. And then they're tuned to me. Yeah. And then, you know, and then they, they said, give me an E. Yeah. Give me a B. Give me a G. And then I, on my saxophone, I'll play, and then we'll be in tune. Yeah. And, 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 and I rather, that's why my bands used to be drums and horn, then the next instrument is going to be bass. As far as, as far as saxophone, what was the significant differences between the way Sonny Stitt taught you and the way Gene Ammons taught you? The, the way Sonny Stitt, he, he, he would, he would press me learning all my scales. All my major scales, and I found out why. He said, "Learn all twelve of your major scales." That's what I want you to do. Learn all twelve. I was real young, around nine years old. Then I found out why, because uh, all the, the, the three minor scales come from that: the pure minor, the melodic minor, and the harmonic minor comes from the major scale. And this, you know, and my teachers down in Texas. Adele Lewis and Adele Galanfi told me why. I say, uh, the major scales are masculine and the minor scales are feminine. So I said, oh, okay, I see. And that's why I learned my scales. Sunny Stick taught me technician. Gene Albers, he taught me about the feeling of, of, of the, the, when it make you want to cry, make you want to laugh. Uh, the feeling of the music. The, 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 the emotion, emotions of it. That's that's just Judge G. Now, Judge G. Now was would play something, and I'd be ready to cry, man. He he, he make it sound so fat and so yeah. warm, you know. Yeah, that's Judge, man. Yeah. His sound was so fat and so full, but 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 at the same time, Sonny Stick was. Man, he be sound like he chopping down trees like a machine gun, man. Yeah. These notes be coming out like that. Yeah. And it be real technical and, and uh, 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 theory, man. Stick was a technician. Now, now, as far as Coltrane and Parker, what, what do you think is the significant, uh, uh, I won't say differences, but I'll say, uh, uh, Particulars between those two. What are the, the significant particulars between those two, as far as the style they played, and you know, because uh, they say that Parker innovated the whole. He, he he brought a whole new thing to the to the game, you know. And Coltrane was on a spiritual journey, you know. So what what did you what, what as far as being a saxophone player? And the influences, because everybody's been influenced by Coltrane and Parker that's on saxophone. If you pick up a saxophone, you know. Uh, and, and I also will also add uh, Farouk Z. Bay, because to me, Farouk Z. Bay was in a whole nother dimension as far as 
saxophone players with yourself and everything from what I've heard when y'all play. And so, you know, what 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 angles do you think they were coming from besides, you know, Coltrane, spirituality, Parker, uh, innovation, and Farouk, uh, the cosmosis of it all? Because Farouk was coming from like Pharaoh Sanders and Herbert Island, Eric Dolphy, okay. people like that, on that Coleman and stuff. You know, the spiritual, uh, John Coltrane, you know. John Coltrane, uh, it's just my opinion. Yeah. Everybody like got their opinion. But John Coltrane, he played alto saxophone. He was, you know, sound like Charlie Parker, but Charlie Parker was bebop, man. Swing. It, it, it swing. Charlie Parker was uh, the Roaring Twenty days, man. He, you know, he was like, uh, he was playing uh, the, 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 the bebop. You know, the train, he took it to another, uh, more spiritual, you know, to the cosmics. Yeah. And, and like Pharaoh Sanders, Albert Island. But at the same time, he, you know, you can tell he listened to John Gilmore, and Coleman Hawkins, Lester Young, you know, you can hear them. The train's playing, Dexter Gordon, you can hear it, I can hear it, man. But he took it more to a spiritual, you know. Talking about Coltrane? Yeah, Coltrane. Yeah. He was, he could, he could play, he could play bebop, he could play all that, but he took it, you know, he said, well, I'm going to play him and, and Pharaoh, they they take it to out there in the Cosmo, yeah. those ones, and yeah. Ornette Coleman's, and I, I, I repeat myself, Elvin Island. Yeah. And see, uh, you know, uh, that's why he hit with uh, uh, Eric Dolphy, a whole different, you know, they, they, they wasn't really playing bebop. They, you know, they you know they could play it, but they was taking it another way. Yeah. So, so bebop is, is that's that's a uh, sunny stick to me. That's that's uh, uh, Charlie Parker. You know, especially Charlie Parker. You know, and, uh, I can hear ragtime. I can hear marches. I can hear marches on that march music. John Philip Sousa, I get marches in there, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love all that. The, the concert music, Polish music, I love it all. I love rock and roll. Yeah, speaking of that, you I know, know. Jerry, Gar- I mean, uh, 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 Frank Garcia, when you played with him, what was that like? What was that like? That's like uh, rhythm and blues. Hitting with Frank Garcia was, you know, we play smooth jazz, you know, make it dance music with Frank Garcia, Motown, you know, you make, make you feel like you want to dance. Singers, you know, they, they, the musicians were, musicians, they, they play, you know, bebop and jazz and stuff, but they, they got the singers, so it was more for dance music, you know, you know Grover Washington, you know, R&B music, uh, Junior Walker, people like that. Uh, I can tell this the, the sound that you have when you R&B. You know? Uh, I know when you're not really swinging. If you're a warm player, if you ain't swinging, I can hear it. Or if you bebop, I can hear it. Uh, if you playing uh, avant-garde, I can tell if you if you if you've been studying your horn, if you. If I don't hear no scales and no patterns, then I know you just shucking and jiving. You, may, you might fool some people, but you can't fool me. Because I can hear the diminished sounds and augmented and the major sounds and the, and the minor sounds. And I can hear it in your playing because I, I know my scales. That's why it's important to, to learn my scales because I know and everybody ain't up on that. They just, oh man, I play a bar guard. Well, I was playing a bar guard when I was, uh, when I first picked the saxophone up. Yeah, I must have been playing, he said, oh, you playing Mayhem. Like this uh, guy, uh, John Ashby, was trying to tell me I was playing Mayhem, but I wasn't playing Mayhem. He, he wasn't aware of what I was doing. I'm a bar guard. He, he tried to name, uh, name the song that I wrote, Mayhem. It wasn't Mayhem. 
you know, you know, you know it's just uh, a whole different form of music. And y'all can play it, that same song that you call Mayhem, I can play it exactly the same form. Yeah, it is out. Don't, you don't have no 254 that y'all say sit. You know, I'm free. Tell me, uh, you know, as far as that, uh, how, who was the first one to say it, uh, uh, learn all your skills, you want to do improvisation and then forget about it. Oh, that's Charlie Parker. Yeah, okay. Charlie Parker was master, practices with the song and master it. They take a song, learn a song, you know. And master it, where he maybe just played in his sleep, and for, and then he said, when you, and then when you get up there on the stage, forget all, forget all about that. I think he cursed or something. Yeah. Forget all about that and just play. Yeah. See, the first, the, the, the main thing is master your master your your instrument. Figure out the math see? and then see? then 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 build the house. See, because these 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 wannabes, I'm gonna call them wannabe men. Yeah. They think that Ch- Charlie Parker is just, you know, just, just playing notes. You know, shot up some drugs or something. Yeah. Just playing. No, no, it ain't yeah. like that. He done yeah. practiced on it. Yeah. He practiced on that. He 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 wrote it. He probably wrote it down and, and went over it and said, hmm, nah, see how it hook up to the chords and all that. He he mastered it. He mastered that sound. And then he then he said, forget all that and just play. Because other ideas will come to you. You, you it's like a habit. Is like if you keep getting up and getting the habit of brushing your teeth every morning, you become a habit. You know, yeah. you practice that over and that over until you don't think about it no more. It's automatic. That's Charlie Parker, and uh, that's why his stuff. I listen to his stuff. He's a genius because uh, you could tell he really practiced yeah. and mastered it. Then when he got up there, he just played, and that's what you heard. And, and uh, uh, John Coltrane is like that. He's like that. There's a lot of musicians. Is, that's how they, they practice eight hours a day. They ain't playing. They ain't messing around, man. Most of the ones that got that sound like they got, that you can't figure out, they done practice at least eight hours a day, every day. Yeah. Now, as far as people like Farouk Z. Bay, Ornette Coleman, Pharaoh Sanders, uh, uh, Coltrane. Uh, uh, what is the significance of spirituality and music and others that that, that 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 have embraced it? I know from the African perspective, uh, music and spirituality and arts and culture all are one, you know. But when when we came over here, or as as music was introduced, like by the Ahmadians when they came over here earlier on and whatnot. Uh, how important or how influential has spirituality been to uh, uh, musicians as far as, uh, you know, uh, reaching their, uh, reaching their, 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 uh, in their search for enlightenment on their instrument? You know, I'm going to put it like this. Cause this guy, he couldn't even hear music no more. He was just he gifted like that. He couldn't even hear it no more. And he wrote some of his best compositions. And he couldn't even hear it. He, 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 could, he could write it down for other people to hear. But he heard it in himself. His name is Beethoven. Ludwig Beethoven. Couldn't even hear no more. But he, he knew the music that he was doing so well till he could write your part out inside of him, you know. And he was uh, born that way, a gift. You know, I believe it's a gift. Some people just got it. They born that way. They, they, and then when, they, they, and, uh, when they practice, they, they always was that before they... Before they even practiced. Born in stereo, <laughs> if you will. They was, huh? man, they was, they was born in stereo. Huh? Yeah, they were <laughs> born that way. And there's nothing you could do to stop them. They got their own way. And you could, you 
wasting your time trying to sound like that. You like you, you wasting your time trying to sound like Fugucci Bang. Cause that's uh, Charlie Parker say if you ain't lived it, you can't play it. A lot of that stuff is lived. So you can't live it. If, if you haven't lived it, there's no way you can play it. A lot, a lot of that stuff is lived. You know, you you can hear it in, 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 in the music. You know, uh, certain things about a person and their life. It's their life. You can't play if you haven't lived it. You can't live their life. You don't know what they've been through. You know, it's no way. You know, they they gonna hate on you, or tell you, but they 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 don't know what you've been through. They they look at you. They only really judge you before you even get get a chance to uh to say, and they don't hear you. They don't they don't understand what you're saying until 50 years later, and they say, oh. Wow, he was before his time, or she was before his time. Man. You know, they can't comprehend where you at. Man. You know, they, uh, man, that old stereotype crap. I'm sick of it, man. man. I can't stand it. I can't. Back in the day, uh, I used to this and that and kind of fell for. But today, I ain't got time for no stereotype stuff. Man. Person, you can't be who you know. Everybody's unique, man. No yes, way. sir. They, they unique. Everybody's so unique. Yeah. You cannot. Right. See now, now they talking about uh, how Farouk was, but when Farouk was alive, just, just, just. No, I, I, I just enjoyed playing with him because he had the same desires to play, uh, come up the same way I did in the struggles and stuff in the, you know, the '60s and striving to play music. Now that, now that he's dead. They want to paint a picture that he's this and no. You don't know what he went through. You don't know the crap he had to go through. The mess. You know. I guess I get kind of upset with people <coughs> when, when they try to stereotype you. Don't know who you are. Don't you know, try to put you in a box. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, the, you can't put me in no yeah, box. Yeah, you can't. You you really can't. Uh. Uh. uh Expect someone to be you. You, mess, you, you can't. You can't uh, try to uh, make somebody be what you want them to be because the uniqueness and the perfection of of, of who they are is is what toes. they are. I'm gonna step on some toes. I'm gonna step on some toes right now. So what? It was a it was a it was a it was a boxer named Jack Johnson. Man, they act like they act like they don't even know who he is. I know who he was. You know, they, they couldn't understand. Who he was, man, born in 1878, I think. Jack Johnson. He said, look here, man, you can't beat me, man. I don't care who you do. You call me all these names, you do this, you do that. You, you, you know, you call me a coward, you do this. You, 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 you strip me, you do all this to me. But you can't beat me when you get in that ring. That's Jack Johnson, man. He didn't call himself the, 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 the Nothing but I'm a man. That's all. That's all he said. I'm a man. That's what I am. A man. And you can't beat me. That's what I like about him, man. All that old stereotypes crap. And then when he uh, uh, beat Jeffries, they thought it was the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, man. I'm you know, it's this. Right? You know what I'm saying? You know, see, that's how I, I'm sick of stereotype people. And see, but see, it's people on this earth, they ain't got time for that stereotype stuff, man. They, they know, they already know. They say, hey, you know who I am, and you know who I am. And there's no way you can, you, there's no way you can do it. You can't do, you can't beat me. I am only can beat me. I, I, I ain't got time for stereotype people, man. They don't make you better than somebody, man. Well, you know, get out of here with that mess, man. I don't like people. They always stereotype. And then the ones that get end up getting beat. Okay. I'm talking about the body. And then the one who's the same one stereotype that gets taught a lesson. They get taught a lesson. They be like, what happened? Well, you stereotype. And, and, that, and I love it. Man. I like it when that happens to them too, man. I ask you uh, one 
one one little thing you can take as long as you want or short time as you want on it. I want you to expound upon uh, any what 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 would you say to as, aspiring and continuing studying uh, artists and musicians and, and media people. What would you say, people that's in the arts? What would you say? What would you words would you have to say to to people that's in the arts as a whole, whether it be painting, music, writing, movies? What what kind of as far as dealing with this world? What what would you have? You know, what would you say? Just when you have that desire to express yourself in the arts of painting and stuff. Do it. Um, um, I done met people who stop doing it. For, for whatever reason, they don't do it. The last time I drew and painted, I was 18 years old. Got the palace to prove it. I, I said, when was the last time that I drew a picture or painted or something? I was 18 years old. But before that, I was painting in, in, in art. In, in, in kindergarten, I was drawing portraits and pictures of people. Drawing anything out my mind, I could draw just like, just artistic on, on I mean, artists. But I haven't done that since I was 18 years old. Maybe I'll start back again, I don't know. But I have done it. <laughs> and, 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 and you would just do it then. It might be taken away if you don't. There's expression, your expression of life. Uh, how you see the world, you know, what you view you in your mind about the world, you paint the picture of the world that you do. Paint the picture of the world with sound and music. Paint the picture of the world on the, on the canvas. Is a true is a true artist. Is a person that does that. You know, they, everybody don't have that. They, they 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 want it, and they make money off of you. They, they, make, they will make money off of you. So if you want to be you want to be that. Well, that's gonna cost you a hundred dollars a lesson. Knowing you ain't gonna you ain't got it. You don't have it. It's amazing, man. Yeah. I'm a, 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 the school of music I went to, where John Coltrane went to, he went to way back in the day, school of music for the Navy, the Army, and the Marines. My teacher had his plaques all on the wall, all his degrees and all that. And he was telling me he wanted to learn what I knew, knew about music. I ain't got no plaques on the wall. He telling me straight up, that he wanted to fit, how, find out what what it is about how I play music because he didn't have it. He was coming from the spirit. He was coming see, from the tech. He couldn't play. He couldn't. He couldn't. I was blowing. See, because back then I was playing uh, Giant Steps in, in 1970, but I had learned Giant Steps way back in 1961 when it came out. See, and I say that's when I learned Giant Steps. Y'all still trying to talk about playing Giant Steps? Here it is, 2020, 21. I learned that way back 1960, 61, 2. When I first heard it, I heard it, bam. And it it's just, just the way it is. It's a gift that, that, uh, that I had of hearing, man. And I play all that stuff, man. Couldn't even, couldn't even uh, uh, read music, just play it. I couldn't even read it. I could hear it. I couldn't even read the music. Didn't learn how to really read music until I was about 20 years old. Didn't even really know. Because I had this guy, I'm gonna say his name, his name is Gregory King. I still call him first chair. He was first chair, I was second chair. And every note he played, I would play. If he if he played a wrong note, 
I hit that wrong note. But he was the one that read in grade school the notes in high school. It got to the point I stopped playing saxophone and started playing flute. I was the only flute player, a bunch of bunch of girls. And I was sitting in the middle. I was, I was cause I said, I'm gonna learn how to play flute now. And I, you know, I switched to flute now. Already playing the drums, already playing the key, the keyboard, <laughs> playing all the basses, any instrument. There wasn't no instrument I couldn't play, man. <laughs> no instrument. And, uh, this guy Randy Hicks, he, he, he played at, at, at the New York's uh, sit Orchestra in New York, and he was a drummer. And he would, I would go over his house to play with him as a child, and he'd be practicing. He says, he say, hey, 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 could you could you practice? Pretend like you me. I'm gonna go outside and play. I get, he showed me some little uh, things on the drums. He go outside and play. His father found out. Randy, what you doing? You know, he get a spankings. Wow. But that's how he used to be able to play outside because <laughs> his father found out that was me playing the drums. That, that's a true story. He was a stand there well, so he could go out and play and play. Out the play. Too, he said, I'm going to play the drum. You can go out and he play sure, in the I street. Huh? You. I can play the drums too, man. Wow. It, it's not just the saxophone or keyboards or whatever. Right. That was your first instrument, what? Is the drum. And then you then you learned the keys, right? Yeah, the, the second instrument was the keys and the bass and the guitars. And the third instrument was saxophone. They all quit, man. You learned all those instruments. Which one do you practice the most? All of them. All of them? Because the first instrument was drums. Okay. And every instrument is a drum to me. I look at every instrument as a drum. All instruments are drums to me, man. I, the, the, the guitar's a drum, the, the bell's a drum, the, the spoons, every instrument, the harmonica is a drum to me. All of my drums to me. And I look at the, the, the first world drums. Gotta have drums, and no drums. Specialized instrument, you know. I'm talking about getting on a guitar, bass. It doesn't matter to me. The oboe, the bassoon, it don't matter what it's. The bagpipes, it don't matter what it's. The harp, it don't matter. It matter to me. I thought that was the last question. I've just been inspired with another one. Uh, what is and what has been your uh, purpose, focus, and objective uh, and reason for playing music? You know what? I think sometimes music playing is therapy. You know? It's when you you know, you go through things, it, 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 heals, it heals you, it heals me. When I play music, when, when things go bad or something, bad or something, I'll go play some music or something. And play it until I'm, I'm healed. It heals you. And, you know, it's like, a, it's like truth serve. <laughs> medicine. You know what I say? It's medicine. When people say truth I think of music because it's a huge and everybody don't have that they don't see they see everybody most team like people now all they do is think about making money yeah. see they go oh, I can make money off of that oh ooh, I, can, I can make me some, a lot of money off of that but they never get satisfied they, 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 they run it after that money and they're miserable they're miserable the music see music when I play music, I, it, 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 and I and I accomplish something in music, it makes me feel feel like I accomplished something. See, I said I'm gonna work on this piece. I'm gonna work on this piece. 
until I really master it. And I know when I when, when I master it, it don't matter what anybody else say. When I feel like I master it for yourself, it, it, to myself, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can care less what anybody else say. I just want to about it, you know, about my how I'm mastering it. But once I get to that point where I master it, I say, yeah, now. Satisfied. The individuality of your sound. There you go. Yeah. And I put it to the side. Yeah. I put it to the side. I learned that. Now I'm going to my next project. My next thing. That's music to music. Yeah, to me. That's how I, I love it that much. I, I, it, 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 it's just like an artist. Just draw the picture. You know, he draws it. Just puts it to the side. Draws another picture, you know. It's same thing, it's same way, same inspiration. Uh, putting it on on canvas, you know, taking colors, and how you do it, and shapes and forms, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Put it on the wall. Yeah. But that's yesterday's story. That's five minutes ago. See, that's that's gone. That's how you felt five minutes ago. Like Miles said, you want to hear something? Yeah. He always said, go get the album. Yeah, but see, I'm, yeah. But see, I'm different from Miles. In a way. I'm different from Miles. See, Miles, he, he'll say, if you want to hear something, go get the album, right? Because I'm not going to play that again. I'm still in the mood. For me, I'll, I'll, that, that composition or that way. You play it again, it'll just be again. different. But it's going to be different. Yeah. See, see, that's, 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 that's how I am. But, I, I, I do believe John Coltrane was like that too. Yeah. He 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 played he played uh, my favorite things a hundred times. Yeah, a hundred different ways. Yeah, yeah. Because it's you know, so I don't mind playing something uh, yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah. But Miles, he play so what or 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 or. or a way that Miles play, he won't want to play that again. He's always, yeah. you know, going to another way. He ain't gonna play that song again. Right. But I'm different. I will play that again. You know, but I'm, but I'll I'll play something new too. <coughs> I'm striving to play something new all the time. But I will play uh, like the call. That's yeah. one of my pieces. Now, when I played the call now, when I first played it in 1972, I remember the reason why I was playing the call. In the valley. I saw it in the valley. Yeah. Those are my songs, man. Seven. You know, and people, and that, that, those are my songs. I wrote those songs. Yeah, speaking of that. Yeah, Real uh, Galaxy did like right that. Those are my songs. Those are those are like standards, right? Yeah, and so, 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 so yeah. tell me, tell me, how important and what is the purpose of a standard, and why are they still standing? It's something that your idea came came to you when you go in, just like all the things you are that that took that took that took that gave you all the things you are. That's just that's that you know that came to him, you know. They took a uh, uh, dolphin dance and came to her behind. Standards. Uh, yes, yeah, universal. It's a universal uh, across the board uh, 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 connection to humanity. Huh? Yeah, you know, like when I heard, when I heard, when I heard uh, main voice by Herbie. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The the one the one the one that gets me with Herbie Hancock is uh Chameleon and Watermelon Man. Those like those two was the two that really that really no, captured my know. attention. And Maiden Voyage. Maiden Voyage too, but uh something about Chameleon and and, and uh and, and Watermelon Man, I know that was with the hair hunters. But I didn't like them too. People want me to play them all the time. I did not like Mr. Magic uh, by Boba Washington. Did not like Watermelon Man. Come here. I didn't like him. I had to play him. 
I like you to play baby boy. Yeah, made voice. A whole like other, that's a whole nother dimension. Yeah, you like you connected to the to the to the vastness of 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 the exploration of music, you know. So you know, I I I liked it because it was uh it was like uh it reminded me of the neighborhood, you know, and and, and life. In, in in the city and uh, just like uh, a hot summer day and and, 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 and well this is with a lot of songs you know I, I like to I like to that's why I like I never judge an artist even though like even though today some of them are uh, you know some people say it's garbage music or it's bad music. I, I I used to judge artists, but now I listen to them for where they are. They still may not be that good, you know, for what they're doing as far as the technical aspect. But as far as the, the artistic aspect, I try to meet them where they are instead of where I think they should be or where I want them to be. But as far as somebody getting out there trying to play other people's music and doing a bad job at it or, or whatever, what have you, Whatever they trying to do, that's on them. But as far as just an artist expressing themselves, I appreciate the fact that whatever they trying to say, that they expressing it to the world. They were bold enough and brave enough to express it, no matter how good or how bad it was. What you think about that? Like I said, I like to play take five. And five, four, be a lot of people, they hate Music that has the soul of the artist yeah, in it. The music got the soul of the artist in it. They they rather be off into something what they made commercial yeah, instead of soul, instead man. of the soul. They'd be surprised at one that the, the song I really love to play, the John Paul Chain blues song, is Pursuance. Yeah, I love playing that. Yeah, I love playing that. Yeah. Pursuance yeah. is a song. It ain't it ain't the other song that John Paul Chain. Chicago, a 
I like, you know, I like a, 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 a KDG. See, like I say, I like the songs he played, man. You know, I like his song. I like Paul Desmond. I love yeah, I like Paul Desmond. Man. Why can't, why can't, why can't I like Paul Desmond? The way he played uh, Take Back. Why, why? I like that one. That's, that's, that's one of my favorite. Why, 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 why you hate so Paul Desmond? He sounds so he sounds so Paul I know he 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 he, he put the he put the uniqueness of the song the uniqueness of him in the song. Yeah. I like that's what I like about That's another uh, that's another one I was I found it uh uh Seraphic Light by John Coltrane. I ain't I ain't heard I don't think I've heard that. Yeah. This off his stellar regions. Uh, this, like, like I said, that that that, that John Coltrane. If you ask me what song I like the, the best, the most, it's Pursuance. You know, on that, on that, on that on the screen, you know, that's what I like. And it's, and, and, and it's blues. And, and I love that. And I love that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get to now, Sun Ra. Sun Ra was Sun Ra was ahead of his time, and still, you know, he was multidimensional and, and cosmic as you know out there. Marshall Allen, Marshall Allen is in his nineties. Don't nobody sound like Marshall Captivated by Dexter Gordon back in the day when I uh, I saw that movie. This my, one of my favorite movies of all time, jazz movies, is uh, Round About Midnight. That was one of my favorite movies. Divine, see me play. I remember that line. I'm Some person might see a dog, some people might see a fish, some people might see a bird, so whatever they see, let them see what they see, and you just keep on, you know, doing what you do. Right, right. It's not a competition. No, no, it ain't about that. I just want to know what you think about it. Right. And I want to hear your opinion. Right. You know, I'm just saying, man, that's what I love about music. Right. Like, what did you play, Skeeter? Okay, I played, uh, I played The Love Supreme. I played J- Joshua. I played All the Things You Are. 
uh, Little Sunflower, Dolphin Dance, Donna Lee, I Love You, Porgy, Naima, Infant Eyes, Giant Steps, and Resolution, and Nature Boy, and Confirmation, Pursuance. <laughs> yeah, those are all by. Who, who were those all by? Well, they uh, uh, I love Supreme is John, John Park, Coltrane. John Coltrane. Uh, Joshua is by Victor uh -huh. Fieldman. And uh, all the things you are is uh, Little Sunflower, Freddie Hurt, Hubbard, Dolphin Dance, Herbie Hancock, Donna Lee, Charlie Parker, I Love You, Poor George Gershwin, Naima, John Coltrane, Infant Eyes, Wayne Shorter, Giant Steps, John Coltrane, I played that twice, Resolution, John Coltrane, Nature Boy, Eden Arbez, Coltrane played Nature Boy before. Coltrane played Nature Boy before too, had didn't he? I think he did. Yeah. Pursuance by John Coltrane and confirmation by Charlie Parker. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what I tell people the uniqueness, of, the uniqueness of you can never be replicated. Because the uniqueness of you is particular to it. You know, if I sing or say a word or a note, the frequency and vibration coming out of my mouth is not going to be the same way as you say. Because the individuality and uniqueness of you has never ever been here before. So that's why people need to appreciate everybody. They need to appreciate everybody. Yeah. I'd rather play with. That's why I'm still playing. Roscoe Mitchell wrote it out for me. I was way back when I was a, just getting be a teenager. It wasn't easy on me, man. That's Roscoe Mitchell. 
And Joseph Jarman, I played duets with him. Son, get out of here. Y'all, y'all wanna be, y'all don't have no understanding, man. They don't have no understanding of and they is. They knuckleheads, man. You, you can hear it. They knuckleheads, man. They don't have no understanding. Hey, why are you so mean? Because y'all, y'all don't understand. <laughs> Everybody got to say so, man. You might, you might disagree with it, but at least have enough respect to let them say what they got to say, man. You don't have no respect. Cut you off. Try to stereotype you. Try to hate on you, man. I love it when you hate me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't playing. When, when, when I find out you hate me, I love it. I love it because you got the wrong idea. Yeah. The wrong idea, man. Skeet, it's been a pleasure, man. Doing these projects with you and everything, and uh, I I just wish you all the best, oh, further endeavors of, and I appreciate everything you've done, you know, and you continue to do with music, and I appreciate you uh, doing this project. I know that's why that's why I'm talking to you because I I you know, uh, I'm not bound up with nobody. Yeah. Crap. Uh, I, 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 I get paid my money. I worked hard to get my retirement and yeah. stuff so that I could, at my end days of my life, I can play what I want to play. Yes, sir. And I want to play. I ain't got to play. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Yes, sir. I ain't got to do nothing but play, be free to play whatever I want to play, man. Yes, sir. If you sir. think it's garbage, that's your opinion. Yeah. Because I'm an artist and I'm doing it for me. Yes, sir. Not you, because yes, I don't know what you hear. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm playing music for me now, man. Yes, sir. My, my last days is for me. Yes, if you sir. like it, good. If you don't like it, still good. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait so mean, man. Because I pay my dues, man. Yes, sir. You know, I, I got my pension. I'm okay. <laughs> oh man. Hi, Skeet.